What's up, Banner Fanatics? Tech Fanatic 90 from Ultimate Droid at Blockspot.com. With me, I've got the Galaxy S3. This is T Mobile version, but I'm going to show you how to unroot it slash restore it to complete stock, stock, stock enough so that you can send it back to your manufacturer for T Mobile, ATT, and Verizon. Only those three supported carriers, no other ones. Alright, guys? Please, only those three. Uh, if, you do, if you turn on another phone, you will probably brick it. Which will really suck. So right up, uh, just turn your phone, and you will have to install Triangle Way APK. Now this is a free version, and there's also a paid version where you can get it on the Play Store. So if you can afford it, please do get the donated version that's on the Play Store because it really helps the developer who made the Triangle Way app, which will remove your binary counter, which you need. All right. If you don't, you can just install it through here. I will have a link in the description below to where to download this APK. Once you get downloaded, just transfer onto your phone and install it. So we have to go into settings and turn on uh, unknown sources. Okay. Then just go back and install it again. And install. So this will remove all your binary accounts so T-Mobile or any other carrier won't know that you actually... Uh, um, Mm, follow me. No thanks. Um, so they won't actually know uh, you actually rooted it ever or install a custom RAM or anything like that. So all we're gonna do is reset flash counter the that one and continue. And it says resetting. It will reset your flash counter to zero. Okay, it has been reset. So now you can just close out the app. Very simple to do. And now we're gonna put our phone into download mode. Okay, just power it off. Give it a goodbye and I'll come back on um, complete stock. Okay, now press the volume down, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power but keep holding onto the volume down and home center button. All three, vibration, let go. Alright, now press the volume up to continue, and now you'll be on this screen. When you're on this screen, just plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side to the USB port of your uh, computer, and we'll bring the rest of the process on our computer. Okay, so make sure it still has download and make sure it's plugged into your computer as well. Once you got that done, you can see you have two files right there, and one is called Odin, and the other one is called Stock Recovery. So let's open up Stock Recovery so I can show you what's in the folders. So right here, you can see that this one's for AT&T, this one is for T-Mobile, and this is for Verizon. So you're going to be downloading one of these zip files for your correct Galaxy S3. Do not download the wrong one or you may break your phone. So make sure you download the correct one. Mine is T-Mobile, so I'm going to be extracting that. I'm just going to right click and click extract. And I'm going to extract it to the folder. So extract, and it is extracting. Okay, once it, it's finished extracting, you will get uh, a tar file or an MD, uh, sorry, an MD5 file right there. As you can see, the type is MD5, so keep that in mind because you're going to be using that. Now, well, let's go to the other uh, folder. You can just close out that one, and I'm going to put that one down. Let's go to the Odin one and open that one up. And then open up Odin, Odin 3 version uh, 1.85 uh, application. And you'll get onto this screen. Uh, make sure you have the yellow bar there. If you don't, make uh, download Samsung keys. I will have all the files mentioned in this video uh, in the description below, including Samsung keys. So make sure that's installed on your computer or you won't get that. And if you installed it and you still get a problem, try using a different USB port and use a different computer if it comes to that. Now we're going to click on PDA and then find that tar file that we just uh, extracted. So mine was in stock recovery, T-Mobile, and then right there my MD5. So locate it and then select the MD5 file. Once you get that selected, you can uh, make sure everything is uh, unchecked except auto reboot and then click start. Now this will take a very long time because you're installing a stock recovery. It's the whole stock, the whole phone file um, onto there. So it will take a little bit. And if you do get a fail, try restarting your computer and uh, you different, use a different USB port. Try not to use a U, uh, USB hub because that runs into problems. 
And if it comes to that point, uh, use a friend's computer or uh, use, a, use a different computer. And if you still can't get it figured out, then uh, just contact me. Uh, all links are in the description below to contact me, and I will help you out with your computer problem. So I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, it's just about done. When that does complete, it will reboot the Galaxy S3 as you can see right now. And you did get a pass on the computer screen. So I can show you what's happening. It will reboot and you'll be on stock. But we're going to have to do one more thing. We're going to have to enter into recovery mode and uh, do a uh, factory reset to make it 100% complete. Okay, so as you can see, um, once my phone finished rebooting, it said, unfortunately, uh, oh. there we go, unfortunately the blah 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 has uh, stopped working and all that. So you're probably going to get this error, or if you get stuck on bloop bloop and all that, we're going to wipe the, we're going to do a factory reset in stock recovery. So let's uh, enter into stock recovery. Okay, since we're getting all the errors, and even if you don't get errors, just do this anyway, it's uh, really good to do it. So it's going to click OK and just power off your device. Huh, it's actually frozen. OK. OK. So as you can see there's a lot of things going on. Um, it's stuck and all that. So if you get stuck just take out the battery cover. It's a lot easier. Just take it out. Put it back in and we'll enter the stock recovery and this will fix all these problems. So, <clears throat> press the volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. Keep holding until you feel a vibration. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding until the volume up and home center button. All three. Vibration, let go of the power. It will be entering the stack recovery. Okay. As you can see, it's stock recovery, it's not clock mode recovery, it's not, it's not the light blue and all that. It doesn't give you as many options. So we're just going to go to uh, wipe data slash factory reset, select it, and select yes. So this will fix all your problems. And we'll also clear the partition cache just to be safe. Okay, and then go to wipe cache part or wipe cache partition and it wipe that as well once that's done just select reboot system now the very first one and this will re reboot your phone and you'll be in a nice uh, fresh stock without any problems and you can send it this is safe to send back to the manufacturer and they only find out that you have rooted it or did anything with it and the cluster binary is at zero so that's very safe to do I'll let it boot up and show you that you don't get any problems Okay, it took about 5 minutes to boot up, so please be patient when um, it is booting up because it will take a little bit. Now you can now you can see that you got all the setup screen and everything. So now you can set up everything you want and uh, let's go next, next, next. Close, all my T-Mobile spam and all that. Uh, gosh, come on, come on. And there you go, you're on 100% uh, stock. Let it load up. You're on stock, you get all the um, usual notifications on how to use the phone. And now you can send it back to your uh, carrier for Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T, and they will have no idea that you're rooted or anything. So it's very safe to do. They will not catch you or anything. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you're an Android fanatic and you like these tutorials and you want more of these, hit that subscribe button right up there. And if you found this video helpful, give me that big old thumbs up right over there. I'll see you next video. Support for any uh, Android device, including a uh, problem with this or any other tutorial or uh, Android. You can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and email. All links are in the description below. All download links are in the description below. And uh, a written step by step guide is in the description below. I'll see you next video. Enjoy Galaxy S3 unrooted stack. Send it back to the manufacturer or whatever you want to do. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah.